Uh, hi, I'm Chin Huan, an assistant professor from College of Media and International Culture of Zhejiang University. I also work as the vice director of the Office of Global Engagement of Zhejiang University. Today, we are very honored and happy to have Professor Zhao Junjie here. Professor Zhao, welcome. Thank you. My name is uh, Junjie Zhao. I'm a tenure track assistant professor uh, working in uh, College of Chemical and Biological Engineering at Zhejiang University. So, together with my students, uh, we are working uh, in thin film materials of polymer and hybrid materials uh, with a special focus on uh, multi-scale structures uh, and the nanoscale placement. So that's uh, what we are working on. Um, because you are an expert <laughs> in a field that I'm not familiar with, I'm a researcher from social science. Yeah. So what does vapor phase synthesis and a modification of covalent organic networks mean? Uh, so these uh, materials are really exciting. So uh, we are actually creating these uh, organic uh, networks uh, by uh, linking them through covalent bonds. So that's we, uh, why we call them covalent organic networks. Uh, so for example, we are uh, making uh, siloxane rings and uh, we can cross-link these uh, monomers to uh, form a highly cross-linked uh, network and they can have very stable uh, state on surfaces, uh, they can have a very high durability and also uh, they can be used on a lot of functional uh, surfaces. And uh, for the uh, implications, for example, we can use these uh, materials as a coating material uh, for protecting uh, different uh, metal surfaces in uh, equipment. Right now in our uh, lab, we are creating uh, different functional materials that have uh, all the pore size, can be used for uh, separating uh, small molecules, for example, CO2. So that would be useful for uh, carbon neutralization in the, in the future. So that's uh, something we can do in our, in, in, in our group uh, to use uh, uh, what we know and apply the engineering skills to uh, build new materials and new structures uh, for dealing with the critical issues in the, in the world. So, um, after you finished your uh, bachelor's degree at Zhejiang University, uh, you continued your study overseas. Uh, so how was your overseas experience as a PhD student at North Carolina State University? So uh, actually, I, I was fortunate to uh, get a chance to visit uh, NC State University uh, when I was a, a junior student. Uh, so uh, in, the, in, in the junior summer, uh, I, I actually visited NC State uh, as a visiting student. And uh, at the time, I was able to uh, explore uh, the research over there and also uh, interact with the professors over there. And that actually helped me with the decision uh, for, for my graduate studies in the, in, in the next few years. Yeah, and uh, later uh, during my uh, PhD study, I think uh, my advisor, uh, Greg Parsons, actually, uh, he gave me a lot of freedom. So he let me to explore a lot of uh, different topics uh, during my uh, PhD and also uh, gave me a lot of opportunities to travel uh, uh, not only around the U.S. for conferences, but also uh, travel internationally to uh, get more uh, interaction with the, with the community. And actually, that's something uh, very important for, for the growth of a young uh, scholar yes, and a young awesome. researcher. Yeah. So after you finished your uh, PhD degree, instead of coming back, you continued your work as a postdoc at MIT. Right. So what motivated you to make that decision? Well, when I was uh, finishing my PhD, so uh, my advisor and also uh, some of my friends told me that you probably want to uh, shift a little bit. Uh, so that you can uh, learn more uh, during your postdoc and, and uh, spend your toolkit uh, so that you can have more skills when you are eventually a faculty member. So you, you got to work with uh, famous uh, professors over there and, and, and see uh, how uh, people are like, talking about their own work. Uh, and I, I can uh, be very close to them and we can uh, talk a lot about their work and the, their, their, their career goals, their career path. And uh, they are very good uh, uh, learning model for me. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's uh, something I, I benefit quite a lot from. Yes, and an open environment is very important for innovation and coming up with new ideas. Yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, in 2018, you came back to Zhejiang University. Yeah. Uh, so instead of uh, staying overseas and work there, what motivated you to come back uh, as an assistant professor? Uh, it's a great tradition in our uh, college of uh, chemical and biological engineering since our very first founder of this college, uh, so Dr. Shohan Lee. He actually got his uh, degree in the U.S. Uh, from the University of Illinois and he came back to China 
established the very first uh, chemical engineering program in China and, and then uh, actually uh, mentored a lot of uh, scholars and scientists uh, in, in China. So that's the beginning of uh, chemical mm -hmm. engineering in China. And, and also, uh, when I was an undergrad, I, I saw uh, Professor Yu Qingshen, how he uh, moved back from, from the U.S. and, and, and started uh, working here, uh, started his own group. Uh, and that's something I learned from the previous uh, generations, and I think that's a great tradition, and I just want to be part of it to, to, to carry on this, uh, uh, this spirit and, and uh, trying to uh, motivate the next generation. Could you tell us, how do you organize your research group? Uh, when managing a lab like this, uh, as you can see, uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, equipment here. Uh, actually, I was, I was lucky to get uh, great students to uh, help me with this, and uh, we work together to keep the lab uh, safe and clean, and also uh, make sure that all the equipments are running in great condition so that uh, all the students can uh, get great results uh, from, from these uh, instruments. When I was in my second year of my bachelor's degree, and the prof Jia said he he wants to he wants to contribute to the macro, nano, macro and nano fabrication of, of our sector. So, uh, and he reached out for me and asked me if I am interested in. And I said, yeah, I was interested in that, of course. I met uh, the Professor Zhao about uh, five years ago when I was still an uh, undergraduate student. Uh, and I want to look for my <laughs> graduate advisor. So uh, it's so interesting to do uh, CVD with a chemical vapor deposition to um, synthesize the polymer synthesis. This was the very first uh, reactor we built in the lab. Uh, and Minjun did uh, quite a lot of work uh, helping me to assemble everything, yeah. So that's part of the history of our, our group. <laughs> We've just been awarded the American Vacuum Society Thin Film Division Paul Holloway Young Investigator Award. Uh, that was a very uh, remarkable success and congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so I believe that is only the start and beginning of your academic uh, journey. What are your academic goals in the next few years and in the long run? Yeah, that's, that's really a great question. So, uh, so three things actually uh, came to my mind. Uh, one of the very first thing is uh, students. Because uh, I, I always see students as the most important uh, products uh, in, in my career. Uh, and eventually I, I'm happy to see if they are better than me. Uh, mm. And that will be a great success for myself. Yeah, that might be the greatest <laughs> achievement for a teacher. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, and the second thing is I, I would like to uh, grow with uh, domestic industry. And I, I can see a lot of challenges out there and also a lot of uh, opportunities there. So I would like to uh, work with these uh, companies because we are engineers, so we want to uh, solve problems as much as possible. We want to uh, build knowledge and build more uh, fundamental uh, understanding from these uh, uh, technical problems. And uh, I'm very fortunate and I always f uh, felt uh, very uh, grateful for uh, working in such a uh, world uh, famous uh, institution here uh, and uh, these uh, faculty members they've been very supportive and as you can see they are also uh, winning a lot of uh, uh, prize and titles uh, domestically and internationally uh, and uh, uh, hopefully one day I'll be as successful as uh, my uh, colleagues world famous uh, scientists. We look forward to seeing that. Thank you.